Hello students. So in this video, I will explain scatter diagram method. So generally already we know. So what are the different types of correlation and correlation definition? So correlation definition means if the change in one way if the change in one variable affects the change in another variable, then the two variables are said to be correlated. So different types of correlation we are having positive correlation, negative correlation, perfect positive correlation, perfect negative correlation, and zero correlation. Now, so how do we are measure the correlation in that? First method is scatter diagram method. So in this method, suppose they are given the X series, Y series data. Suppose my X series data, Y series data. X equal to 5, 8, 3, 6. Y values are 4, 3, 5, 6. So like this I am taking here. Suppose X equal to some subject mass. Suppose I am taking here mathematics mass. Suppose y equal to I am taking a science marks. So what is the relation between marks, marks in mathematics and marks in science? I am calculating here correlation. So from that correlation, generally in our mathematics or statistics, diagram means generally we are taking a graph. This is the x-axis and the y-axis. Here I am taking here only for example purpose I take or took only 4 observations but here we are taking a general x equal to 10 observations or y equal to 10 observations or x equal to 15 observations or y equal to 15 observations like that we are taking the depend upon problem. Suppose I am taking any section. Suppose I am taking a reverse section, a reverse section we are having 30 or 40 members. So x equal to 30 members, y equal to also 30 members that is depend upon data. Here I took only 4 observations. Suppose here x axis values are suppose I am taking here 2, 4, 6, 8. Y values are so I am taking here scale is 2, 4, 6, 8. Now coming to here, how do we are plot the values? 5 value is corresponding value is 4. 5 is here, 4 is here. Next 8 value is corresponding value is 3. 8 value is here, 3 value is almost 8 value. The 3 value is corresponding here. Next 3 corresponding value is 5. 3 means here 5 equal to almost here. Next 6 value is 6 that is almost here the point. Here I took only 4 observations therefore my points are here like this. So how we are saying here correlation is exists or not. If the points are very close to each other from point to point. Suppose I plotted here graph one more graph. Suppose I plotted here one more graph. If points are very close to each other from one point to another point from one point to another point points are very close to each other then we say that correlation is exist correlation is exist if the points are maintained long distance from one point to another point then we say that here we are say that correlation is exist that correlation is known as good amount of correlation good amount of correlation if the points are maintained long distance from one point to another point then we say that this type of correlation is poor correlation so these are the good correlation this is a poor correlation next coming to here poor correlation that's points are maintained long distance from one to one point to another point then you have to leave this concept but coming to here this concept here the points are very close to each other that means here correlation is exist but we are having different types of correlation positive correlation negative correlation perfect positive correlation perfect negative correlation and zero correlation how we can say by using this diagram this is a positive correlation this is a negative correlation perfect positive correlation I will explain here based on diagram suppose based on diagram if the points are this is x series data y series data if the points are increasing in order if the points are increasing in order then we say that this is a positive correlation positive correlation suppose if the points are the points are decreasing in order that means if the points are from starting value to after last value if the points are decreasing order then we say that this is a negative correlation negative correlation negative correlation next if the points are increasing in order exactly straight line that means perfect positive correlation if the points are 
exactly straight line this is the negative exactly straight line and decreasing order then we say that this is the perfect negative correlation suppose if the suppose if the if the points are plotted points are graph is like this we cannot say any relation this type of correlation is known as zero correlation or uncorrelation so these are the different types of correlation so if the points are increasing in order we say that positive correlation if the points are decreasing in order then we say that negative correlation if exactly straight line and increasing order then we say that perfect positive correlation so decreasing order straight line this is perfect negative correlation so here is like this shape we cannot say anything so that's why it is called as zero correlation and correlation but in this scatter diagram method so what are the advantages what are the disadvantages so in this scatter diagram method we can say easily so positive correlation or negative correlation by using graph next so what are the demates are in this method what are the demates are in this method so in this method suppose i am taking here observations are large observations are large means so in this data previous problem i took only four observations x x are for x values are for observation similarly y values are for observation suppose i am taking here by x values are thousand observations y values are thousand observations i can easily adjust the scale suppose i am taking 10000 observation y values are 10000 observation so it is difficult but i will adjust the scale suppose i am taking 1 lakh observations in x values y values also 10 lakh observe 1 lakh observation then we are taking the scale is it is some difficult difficult and products are for plotted points also almost near only so that is not good so that's why we are we this is a one of the main drawback is if the observations are very large if the observations are very large so if we adjust the scale is difficult this is one of the d mate second d mate is so in this scatter diagram method we can say only either this is a positive correlation or this is a negative correlation this is a perfect positive correlation this is a perfect negative correlation we can say only which type of correlation is exist but we cannot say we cannot say how much amount of correlation is exist how much amount of correlation that is that means suppose i am taking x values or y values suppose marks in mathematics marks in science so so correlation is exist but this correlation is suppose either 0 0.5 0 0.58 or 0 0.66 so we cannot say any numerical value in this method that's why this is a one more this is a one second drawback second drawback in scatter diagram method so these are the main two, dra two drawbacks in scatter diagram method suppose in examination they are asking here explain scatter diagram method so first explain the what is the scatter diagram method that means uh, if the plotted points are very close to each other we say that correlation is exists if the plotted points are maintained long distance from one point to another point so then we say that poor correlation is exist next these are the different types of correlation positive correlation negative correlation but then you have to explain this one also positive correlation means if the data is increasing order negative correlation means if the data is decreasing order here increasing order exactly straight line here decreasing order exactly straight line zero correlation means there is no any shape perfect shape that is known as zero correlation so next we have to explain the mates and demands also then they give the full mass in SA question thank you